Hey guys, I'm Rich. Welcome to Rich with Cars. On today's episode, I'm gonna cover some of the odd things that I wanted to know from some of you viewers if these things are normal or not on the LC500. Now, of course, I've had the LC500 now for about six years, and I really haven't had that many issues with it. But I've had a few things that happened to me over my ownership time that not sure if these things are normal. And I know that some of these things that I'm gonna be talking about, I've actually read on the forums, but I wanted to get some of your opinions on whether or not you guys have experienced this as well. So as always guys, let's strap in and take a look. So the first thing that I might be going over is I think a very common issue that I've seen on the forums and even like some of the uh, chat groups is the belt issue. A lot of people say, and I'm one of them, that the Lexus LC500 belt comes in sort of like in reverse or it comes in like flipped. And I wanna show you guys this. So do you see how it comes out over here? Now, if we run it down all the way, do you see how it twists over here? So basically the belt, if you guys take a look at it, it's basically twisted. So it's not straight all the way down. So it has to twist at a certain point from its exit point. So I'm not sure if that is something normal. Some people say that you have to basically remove the B pillar cover and flip it over. Uh, that's a very complicated thing to be honest. But at the end of the day, um, I've managed to get used to it. I just put in the strap. Let me see if I can just put it in once again. And I basically have it twisted as far up as possible so that when it comes down, it just comes down. So I'll twist it further up. So you guys see now when the belt is strapped, it's all straight, but it ends up twisting further up, all the way at the exit point of the belt. So I'm curious to know from some of you guys if you know you guys have uh, had this issue. If you have, have you actually fixed it or have you left it as is? Have you brought it up to the dealership? And I wanted to know if that's a, a defect from the dealership or if it's actually something that's done on purpose. And if it is done on purpose, then why is it done on purpose like that? So the second thing that I'm experiencing is, I guess the hood release, it doesn't actually pop the hood, it just basically releases it. Uh, if I remember well, when I first got, the, first got the car, when I would actually release the hood from here, it would actually pop up. I did have the hood struts get replaced because um, they weren't actually keeping the hood up. So I got those replaced, the hydraulic struts, and now it actually keeps the hood up. But now, I want you to guys take a listen. So when I actually release it, you don't hear like a, a hood popping open. So I just released and that's it. It didn't really pop open and I'll show you guys. So it doesn't actually pop open. See, now it's like, it should be going up. So it's, it should be more spring loaded, if anything. And of course, now it just stays up. But at the end of the day, I think it's probably the mechanism that pops the hood open. It doesn't really spring open. So I want to know if some of you guys have experienced this and if not, then do you guys think it's something I should maybe have the dealership take a look at it? And then the last thing that I've been experiencing is a battery issue. So I've actually replaced my battery through the dealership. I bought a new one and that was after four years of ownership. Uh, when I got the battery replaced, there were the terminals uh, for the battery itself coming from the car that seemed to have some corrosion. And I had asked them to see if they could actually replace those. They said no, they could actually just clean them up. There's no need for a replacement. Anyways, long story short, I replaced the battery a year and a half ago through the dealership. And all of a sudden I started having cranking issues on the battery itself when I was starting the car. It happened to me maybe a couple of times or three times maybe. Brought it back to the dealership. What they ended up telling me was that the battery needed replacement, which is a little bit odd, but nevertheless, the dealership ended up replacing the battery free of charge. So this is a brand new battery that I replaced about a week and a half ago. But they also cleaned up uh, the terminal 
And as you guys can see over here, they've done some cleaning up, they put some grease on it, but it seems to me like, I think what they probably need to do is maybe replace the terminal that goes over here because you guys can see all the grease over here and I'm afraid that that's gonna keep on causing some issues. The other thing also is, not sure what you guys think of this, the exposed wiring over here, uh, if that's normal. And I wanted to get your take on it and see if you guys have actually had the same issue or the same experience. And if not, then let me know in the comments below. So guys, that does it for today's video. I just wanted to go over these quick uh, few things that uh, I've been experiencing with my LC. I don't think they're massive issues, to be honest with you. Uh, at the end of the day, I just want to get your take on the fact uh, if these things are actually normal, if you've experienced these things also with your LC. I mean, I've had my LC, like I said, for six years now. For the majority of the time, uh, it's been basically flawless. I've had the issues, the major issues that I've, I've had at the beginning, which I did in a video. And if you guys want to take a uh, look at that video, you can take a look at it up, to, up top. I'm going to put the link on the screen for you guys. And at the end of the day, I just want to get your take on whether or not you guys have had these uh, few issues, which I don't think are, are massive anyways. So as always, make sure to uh, check out some of my other content and uh, stay tuned for additional content. I'm going to be uh, uh, releasing a review this coming week on something that I was extremely impressed by. And I hope you guys like that one as well. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.